As you guys saw a little while ago, I got the old quarter panel cut out, chilling over here. And all I've got to do is go ahead and remove all the areas where the remaining parts of the old quarter panel meet up to the body. And I'm going through and doing that right now. And once we get this taken off, then I can go ahead and match up the new quarter panel and get this thing welded in. Cut away the majority of the remaining part right up against the flanges where they meet because like this one right here is gonna line up meeting here on this deck filler panel. And I'm just gonna get them separated and go ahead and break those free once I get the majority of the metal out of the way. Ultimately, I'm gonna have to pull out the back glass, which I was planning on doing anyway, because this flange here where the glass sits is right here, and that's gotta get exposed to remove that part and get that tucked under the glass. So that's gonna come out, but right now we're gonna continue going around and kind of beating out all the pieces where we've got connections of old metal and new metal and just chisel away. Just getting this old flange from where part of the quarter panel here met deck filler panel, get this disconnected, because right here where they meet, it's got to be re-added over here. Not too bad. And you can see we're already mostly separated. So now that I've done a little cut and a little splicing, yeah, I could have drilled out these old spot welds, but there's a number of ways to get around it. These Nipix pliers are some of the best things. I use these at work a lot. Um, you can grab and kind of use them in a multiple amount of ways. Get stuff out of the way. They also adjust out to pretty much any size bolt you're trying to use with fastener. And then as you can see, like this little bend on this flange, you can kind of grab them with the Nipix and set the record straight so really useful I'm just gonna clean this up another favorite quarter inch belt sander out of here the remainder of the bottom of that quarter panel and kind of bench it down get out of the way and we're also getting the rest of these parts here too out of the freaking way there we go nice now we got a little more clearance there this comes off too we'll cut this away that gets cut away the remainder of this part of the flange here and then we can get that quarter on. All right, getting this old crappy job taken out here now. Nearly got this all disconnected. And uh, yeah, the last person that put this quarter on just freaking boogered it up with weld and just nasty. Nasty, nasty. We're in here doing a little surgery. No big deal. garbage just freaking welds nasty nasty get this crap out of here someone gummed this these edges up with this like tar stuff and the final piece coming off this bottom flange nice now that's all nice and clear. We'll clean up where these old welds were, get the rest of that part off that flange, and it's gonna look really freaking good. Call that a night. I'm happy with that. Hell yeah. So the mission for tonight is to get the back window out. Shouldn't be too hard, it's already 
kind of loose in there, which is kind of good and easy. And just going to go around really carefully, get it pried out. Might have to use some chicken wire, a um, little screwdriver action. Get it out of there so we can make some space to fix all the areas around here that have rusted out. So without further ado, let's get it out. So that was actually way, way easier than it ever really is. Uh, it was already kind of good. I went around, just cut with a blade and just started carefully prying. You gotta be super careful, of course, because if you put too much pressure in one spot, you could crack it, but it started to move on us and uh, yeah, there it is. So let's get it out. This was way too easy. Usually this could be a freaking hour of scraping, getting in there, chicken wire. Oh, nice. Don't drop it, Frank. There we go. The rear glass is out. There she is. Nice. Now, the fun is gonna be replacing and fixing all of that. Yup. Nasty. But we'll do it. Let's give her a shot, babe. Yeah! Woo! Sending that thing perk. Full park power. Just ignore that part, but hell yeah. Coming together, one bit at a time. So what I want to do tonight is get this little patch here welded in. Um, this nice little piece that comes from AMD. So I'm gonna get it set in place, clean out this metal here underneath it, get all that rust out of there, then tack it in, pull the rear glass, put it in, make sure that it fits nicely to the back of the car and then I can get it completely welded. And then we can continue going around the whole back side of this window channel and fixing all these little rust holes and doing all this nasty stuff. And then once that's nice and fixed, I gotta repair some rust damage here and in this area, and then I can get that quarter panel back on the car. Doing a little bit more work on the Roadrunner Runner tonight. We're gonna get this back window corner fixed, and I'm also just getting off the rest of the kind of flange that was left over from the old quarter panel, pulling it off. So I'm gonna make some sparks, and then we'll do a little welding. Getting some of this old weather stripping off too. Just trying to get everything in and around this whole area nice and cleaned up. Looking much better already. So on further update here on the Roadrunner, all the old sections of the quarter panel have been removed from all the flanges where they were connected. Gone through and cleaned up all these areas. Now we're going to just be patching up rust spots all along it. Fixing up all these seams and all these connections. Right here, I've got the patch ready to go in for this window corner. I'm gonna fix these rust holes, get that window corner put in place, and we'll continue going around the window and all in this area, getting everything fixed up. So you can also use a bunch of pieces for random stuff. The bottom of the lower part of this quarter panel, I actually took this, cut out, made a little patch to replace this bad area that was here on this deck filler panel, and got that welded in, cleaned this all up. You can see to the bottom now, we're not seeing any light. So you won't be getting any water dripping in here. Good to go. Now we can get this guy welded in. All right, so now we got our corner patch here. We're gonna go in 
and make this look freaking good. So let's get this welded up. Cool. Now we'll just get over here. All right, so now that the patch is in there and it looks really good, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill a couple spot weld holes so I can attach it down nice and firmly to the bottom because we're connected here and here. We just wanna secure it around the perimeter. Go ahead and fill them. Nice. Hell yeah. Hold out a night. That's it. Time to get some dinner. <laughs>